Now we get to get into the audio portion of iMovie HD. So we're going to be working with the live action video of Neo's ring, the bench scene. We've already added some stuff here, including the cutaways and that moment that Tracy disappears. We've got a little special effect. I also have added in a title sequence and a transition that fades into the first scene. So let's get into the media section. Remember, this is where you can also modify photos. You can also play around with audio. So if I scroll up here, iMovie HD automatically has some sound effects already preloaded. It also allows you to access some garage band music if you've made it. Also, if you have music saved in your computer's iTunes, you can access that. You'll also notice down here there's a microphone and that allows me to record myself doing a voiceover if I chose to. So if I hit this red button, it will automatically put a voiceover in one of these two lines. Remember, these two sections here are for audio, music, sound effects. So I don't think I need to do my own voiceover, but maybe I want some kind of mood music to bring in the effect of the title transitioning into the movie. So maybe I'll start off with some of the stuff I have in my iTunes. Let's see what I have. I can play it. Hmm. I think I'm going to start with Quest. So all I have to do is just drag and drop this in and it should pop right in there. Now this song is a lot longer than it needs to be. I actually want it to last for about six seconds. So one of the really nice things about this is all the audio is in purple, whereas when we highlight our video it's in blue. There's also a line running through here, and this line is the volume level. So I can bring that volume level down if it's too loud or not loud enough. And I can also cut this just like video. So I can move the playhead to the part that I want it to stop and make sure that that music, that audio clip is selected. And I can come up here to edit, split at playhead, and now I have two sections here and I can delete that. I can also make this fade out by pressing these little buttons here. And let's see how that looks. All right, give it a little bit of atmosphere. And if I wanted to, I could also play around some of these sound effects. So some of these are kind of fun. And Skywalker sound effects, there's a little bit more here. So you can go through here and check these out. You can always find sound effects. There's a lot of free sound effects on the internet. And you can download those and bring them in very easily as well. I think I might bring in the heartbeat. So I can do multiple layers of sound which can add a cool effect as well. So let's see how that sounds together. And of course, I'm gonna need to cut that. It's a little too long. Don't want it going on too long. So I'm going to come up to edit, split, and delete the part that I don't want. Check it. And if I like it, I can save it. If I don't like it, I can delete the part that doesn't work. Try something else. Now, I might want to add an effect here because Tracy is about to disappear. Definitely add something more to it when there's a sound effect. So let's see if there's a sound effect that might kind of go with this. And I don't think they have a whole lot, but... 
hmm, maybe that thunder clap might work well. So I'm going to try and line that up. And the nice thing is you've got these sound waves that I can see right where that sound really gets intense. So I want that sound to really pop in there right at the moment Tracy disappears. So let's see if that works. Tracy? All right, not too shabby. And of course, if something seems too loud, I can always bring that volume level down. Check it. Tracy? Tracy? Perfect. File. Save project. And there you have it. So you can always bring your own music. You can bring in your own CDs. You can find free music. There's lots of great cinematic music that you can access off the internet. And of course, any of these preloaded options. GarageBand is another really great resource to do voiceovers, to play around with music and sound effects as well. The last thing that's kind of interesting is if you go into the editing section, there is an audio effects area. Now, this can be really helpful when you do voiceovers, if the voiceover sounds funny, or if you actually want to change the sound of your voice, you can select the audio clip and then play around with some of these options. And all you have to do is preview it. If you like it, apply it. Last but not least, when you are viewing these different audio clips or even a video clip that has audio on it, you can come up to view and show clip volume levels. And that's what this line is. So that line allows you to make it louder, make it softer. You've also got this option down here to play around with volume levels on any given clip. And on the side here, this also allows you to mute any part that you would like to turn audio off. If you just want to hear this, this track without the audio that's on one of these two sections.